our teacher has what a professional angler is now is the only one raising my hand. And I said, a person who fishes. And my teacher gave me a high five saying, leave it to the girl whose dad's a fisherman. <laughs> The biggest fish I've ever caught was this big. It was like that, but this big. <laughs> I got the big one. When Dad's going to the tournament, the last day I see him, I would say, catch the big one that I got that I got at the cabin. <laughs> Maybe he's got even bigger. <laughs> he says, okay, I'll try. <laughs> We're in uh, Brodus. So Brodus. Brodus hasn't hasn't been discovered yet. It's a small town, East Texas. The only thing I do really like about the place is there are three outdoor cooking utensils. Utensils, stations. They could be stations. I like what's a utensil. You utilize it for cooking. Utensil. Grill. Well, it's a utensil because you utilize that for shoving food into your face. Uh. Ooh, doggy, welcome to Texas, the third stop of the Walmart FLW tier. <laughs> oh, all Texas people are going to hate me. The Sam Rayburn event <laughs> is the one tournament on this year's schedule that I think had the anglers most excited, mainly because at the tour level, we haven't had that much experience on this famous body of water. We've had a lot of other events there, like BFLs, Rayovac series, college events, but a majority of these anglers have never been on Rayburn before. But here we are, it's late March, we're in East Texas, and we're looking at what could be the most anticipated sight fishing event we've seen on tour. That cold winter we've had is still hanging on, it's got these fish setting up, we have a full moon coming in, and you couldn't ask for a better set of conditions to move giant Rayburn bass, 10 pounders, to be pulled up on bed. And really it could be anyone's game when you have pre-spawn, spawning, and post-spawn largemouth going. Day one was kind of a punch in the gut for a lot of those guys that wanted to catch spawning fish because we had wind and a little bit of rain and it was just kind of nasty. It got cold and it was going to make sight fishing pretty difficult. Over $1.1 million credits with FLW. Five bass today. Today's weight, JT. It's going to be seven pounds, 14 ounces, 714. Chad Grigsby from Maple Grove, Minnesota. Got you five in there. How's it treating you, bud? I got five. I got one good one and then four little bitty ones, so I'm glad to have him. Tomorrow we're going to have five big ones, right? I don't know about that. I caught them a lot better when the sun was out, so hopefully the sun shines tomorrow. We can see what happens. Five in the bag for you, Chad. 
goes 15 pounds, 8 ounces, 28th place right now in definite striking distance. By the end of the weigh-in on day one, both guys brought in a five fish limit. Chad, who I expected to do pretty well because he loves fishing shallow water and, and grass type lakes, uh, he was sitting in 28th, which is spot on. Uh, however, JT stumbled for what I thought he would do in this tournament and is sitting in 121st. Hey, you know what? Maybe my 121st place placing today was a success for me. Maybe for I can you. twist that into my mind and well, think that that's what I was shooting you for. You did beat 49 other guys, so got that going for you. I am not starting there tomorrow. Why not? I'm going to take the cojones, put them in the boat with me, and I'm going to go make something happen. You're actually worse shape in Okeechobee than here. Not, not very far, but Like five bit. spots less. Yeah. At least you dig yourself a hell of a hole before you got to dig your way I out. I just like to show off. Yeah. I'm pulling yeah. my weight in this one. Come on. I don't suck well. No, I hate it. I know. I suck today, but some other people suck. Hey, if I would have caught twice as much as I caught today, I'd be ahead of you. No. You'd be tied with me. Tomorrow I check in at three o'clock and kind of actually kind of excited about it. My wife is flying in with our two girls, six and a four year old. I haven't seen them for about five weeks, so should be pretty exciting. I don't know. It's, you know, you kind of get a little bit homesick, but I still have a job to do and I can't wait to see them anyway. After takeoff on day two, the anglers are met with a bank of fog rolling down Rayburn, which is classic for springtime. And Chad is sitting pretty good, looking to make a top 20 cut and take home a big payday. Whereas JT has a lot of ground to make up. And if he doesn't do something today, he's not getting paid. Every one you catch, you're putting it together, or every bite, you're putting it together a little bit. Like what you need to do. And I think that's what separates. Not that I'm doing good in this tournament, I'm doing terrible, but the guys that more times than not do good, See, they're just, I let that one have it forever. They're just hitting it so tentative. But like I was saying, the guys that do good on a consistent basis, I mean, I don't think there's any of the guys that do well pretty often that, like they just go out and try to do exactly the same thing they did yesterday. Because every day, especially in the spring, every day is so different. You know, like yesterday the wind was howling and today it's real calm, but it's foggy, I mean, and then it's going to get sunny later. I mean, like you got to adapt. Just because you caught 20 pounds one day doing something doesn't mean the next day, you know, you're going you're gonna to catch 20 pounds. I mean, doing that same thing. Uh, you know, that's what separates the guys that consistently do well. Is they let the day dictate what they do. And that's what I try to do with every bite. It's overcast like this. I'm just dipping the tail on a little bit of chartreuse. Make the wiggling tail stand out a little better.
Hi, bud. Hi. Do I get big hugs? Yeah. Get away my fish. You want to see my fish? My my fish. Why did you say it's not a fish? Because it's singular. One. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Oh, he didn't like me picking him up. He got three. Oh, I didn't. I only got one. It's not very much water for that poor little guy. You gotta go weighing in. Can we watch you weigh Yep. As a professional angler, it's your job to go out and catch as many fish as you can and bring back the best five. And anything less than that is basically failing, which is what happened to Chad on day two, and it happens to most any professional angler in their career. But Chad only brought back in one keeper fish, which kind of stinks because he had his wife and his two daughters there. And so he's happy to see them in that extent. But on the other hand, he's got to walk across that stage in front of all the people watching on FLW Live and the cameras and just kind of grin and bear it that he's only got one fish. Chad Grigsby. Keystone Light Pro from Maple Grove, Minnesota. 15 pounds, eight ounces yesterday. But hey, Chad, there's something more special on the stage. Who do we got here today? I tell you what, I haven't seen my girls in about four weeks and uh, had a terrible day on the water, but they don't even care that I had a terrible day. What's your name? Izzy. What's your name? Izzy. Give them a big round of applause. Nice to see you ladies up here on stage. Great job. We're gonna weigh these fish real quick. They're gonna weigh. One pound, 11 ounces, 111 puts you at 17.3. Great job. Wow. at 714 yesterday, five today, better day today, JT. I've caught him like three times better the second day. You would think after doing this for 11 years that I would know to catch them both days, not just one. You gotta catch them both days. These guys are tough. You stumble, they're gonna run right over the top of you. Today's weight, 16 pounds, four ounces, 24-2, 41st spot, 19 places to pay on. Much has been the story for JT this year. He seems to rally on day two. He was sitting in 121st. He knew he had some ground to make up. And he did. He caught one of the biggest bags a day two to jump all the way to 52nd. And he walks away with a $10,000 check. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Chad, on the other hand, had that position to go into maybe a top 20 and maybe take it even further. But he fell with his one fish from 28th on day one. He finished in 113th. Okay. Well, all you did was scribble over my whole face and then put an X through it. I don't know what it is with these two, but Chad seems to do really well on day one. JT does terrible, and by day two, they just kind of flip-flop. Is it happening every tournament, or just Okeechobee in here? Chad catches them day one, you don't, then you catch them day two, Chad That's exactly right. <coughs> Did you have I'm pretty sure I weighed in the smallest five bass limit. How many fish did Daddy weigh in yesterday? One. Fell 90 spots after one day. Daddy. Keep it up. Yeah, I, I don't know. Obviously, I'm just making really, really bad decisions on the first day. And much better decisions on the second day. I lost three or four fish that, you know, when you have a perfect day, you land those, but you, you got to make up for it, even if you do lose them, because it's just part of it. We need to powwow a little more on the day off, get our stuff together. Yes. Because if we could combine my weight first day and your weight the second day, we'd both be in the top ten every turn. Yeah, we'd be really dangerous. Yeah, but so let's let's do that. How many fish does Daddy need to catch every day? Every day yeah. Five. But every Five. Big Let me ones. lick them fingers. But every day, yeah. uh, Casey gave me a card today. What'd it say on it? I got one for you. 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> Look. This is my biggest fan. That's awful nice, nice of him to <laughs> that card. Yeah. I was going to frame this. Here, here, help clean that up. Yeah. There you go. Well, how would you scoop all this up if it was in a frame? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. Actually, maybe, you know what, we'll just tuck, tuck that in there. And leave it right there we go. down in there. Wait, wait, just a little bit farther down. There we go. Daddy, was that you? That was not me. Could you be a cowboy? <laughs> this is terrible. Oh. Back to work.